Hello, welcome to studentlearning.in, your e-learning buddy. Welcome back to our channel guys. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to join the family. Today's class agenda is random forest in machine learning. Before discussion this topic, I want to explain some real life example of random forest. So guys, this is a very simple example of random forest. Like Deepak wants to decide where to go during the vacations. So he wants the people who know him best for suggestions. The friends he seeks out ask him about the likes and dislike of his past travel history. Based on the answer, he will give Deepak some advice. This is a typical decision tree approach. Deepak's friend created rules to guide his decision about what he should recommend by using Deepak's answer. So afterwards, Deepak starts asking more and more of his friends to advise him and they ask again him different questions they can use to drive some recommendation from. Finally, Deepak chose the place that were recommended the most of him, which is the typical random forest algorithm example. After the discussion of Deepak's friend, Deepak easily decides the best locations. So now I am explaining decision tree because decision tree is a backbone of random forest. So decision tree is the most powerful and popular tool for classification and regression for prediction in machine learning. And we can say that decision tree is a flowchart like tree structure where each internal node denotes a test of an attribute. Each branches represent the outcome of the test and each leaf node holds a class level. In this diagram, you can see there is a root node and there are two left and right. In the right side, there is a square and the left side, there is a triangle. And after that, you can see the proper shape of triangle and square. And decision tree usually mimic human thinking ability while asking a decision. So it is easy to understand. The logic behind the decision tree can be easily understood because it shows a tree-like structure. Because tree-like structure is a very common in all the field of computer science, life science. So now come to the point that is random forest. Random forest. Random forest is a best algorithm in case of supervised classification and regression. It works like its name, which is to create a forest by some way and make it random. So there is a direct relationship between the number of trees in the forest and the result it can get. So the larger the number of trees, that means the more accurate the result. That means more trees, more accuracy. We can see in this diagram, every data set is divided into two parts. First one is training set. Second one is testing set and is also divided into two patterns like either 60-40, 70-30 or 80-20. So uh, we can see in this diagram there are multiple data set in terms of training data set 1, training data set 2 up to training data set n. So on the basis of training data set we have to create multiple decision trees like decision tree 1, decision tree 2 and decision tree n. After that on the basis of priority or on the basis of voting, we can easily make out the prediction and go for the best result. Why we can go for random forest? So the answer is very simple and very clear. It takes less training time as compared to other algorithms in machine learning like KNN, like decision tree, and it predicts output with high accuracy. Even for the large data set, it runs very efficiently. We can see in this diagram there is a huge training data set and training data set is divided into number of data points and with the help of data points you can create multiple trees and after creating the tree you can decide or you can decide of the voting after creating the multiple tree we can decide final prediction on the basis of voting or on the basis of majority. Next. How random forest algorithm work? So random forests work in two phases. First is to create random forest by combining n decision tree. n decision trees means there are n number of decision tree. And second is to make prediction for each tree creating in the first phase. That means 
first phase means we have to create multiple decision tree second phase means we have to go for best predictions next how random forest algorithms work this algorithms are work with five minor step so step number 1 that is select random k data points from the training set step number 2 build the decision tree associated with selected data points data points or subsets step number 3 choose the number and for decision tree that you want to build step number 4 repeat step 1 and 2 that is select random k data points from the training set and build the decision tree associated with selected data points data points or subsets step number 5 for new data points find the prediction of each decision tree and assign the new data points to the category that wins the majority of votes next is advantage of random forest so there are lot of advantage of random forest first one random forest is capable of performing both classification and regression tasks second it is capable of handling large data set with high dimension it enhances the accuracy of the model and prevent the overfitting issues that means we can easily solve overfitting issues of decision tree or machine learning so there is a example of random forest suppose there is a data set that contain multiple fruit images that means there is a big basket so this data set given to the random forest classifier the data set is divided into subsets and given to each decision tree during the training phase each decision tree produce a prediction results and when a new data points occurs then based on the majority of result the random forest classifier predict the final decision we can see the image there is a called root or instance there is a basket with multiple fruits and this basket is divided into number of trees tree 1 tree 2 and there up to tree n the first tree is belong to apples tree number 2 is belongs to apple and the n number of trees belongs to bananas so there is a class a class b and up to class n so we can see in this diagram the majority of tree shows apple so final decision is apple that means apple is a final result of this example Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your questions in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Student Learning. Check out more courses from us and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, basically everywhere. The link is always in the description. We will be back with more lectures. Stay tuned and have a good day. Bye.